Hello everyone, welcome back to another video and today I'm going to show you how to actually use Bitdefender on the main dashboard. So if you have not seen my last video where I show you how to download and install Bitdefender, I recommend checking that out. I will leave a link on the screen and also in the description down below as well. But in this video I'm going to show you how to use Bitdefender. Now if you do want to try Bitdefender for free, be sure to check out the link in the description down below. You do get a 30 day free trial and it is an affiliate link so I do get a small commission if you do use the link. But you can try it for free as well. So be sure to check out the link, but let's actually get started. So if you remember from my last video, this is actually where we um, finished off in my last video. But to actually get started with this, we can actually just skip the uh, tour or you can go through the whole thing if you want to. But I'm going to skip that. And now we can actually see this is our main dashboard. Now from here, what we can do is we can actually click not now on this. And we can do the same thing on this one here as well. And this one here just to get rid of that. And that is now off the screen. So from the main dashboard, we can actually see quite a few options already. Now we have got a quick scan. So this will do a quick scan on your computer for any viruses or any malware, stuff like that. But if you think you've got something heavier than malware, maybe like a rat on your computer or something similar, you could try the system scan. Now this will take quite a long time to actually do. Now it could take a couple of hours, all depending on how many files you got. But this will do a full system scan on your computer. Now this is what this option here is for. Now the vulnerability scan is to see if you are vulnerable to hackers. So that is a good option if you want to do that one. Also we've got the VPN as well. So this is where you can just change your location and stuff like that. So there's a lot more options you can do on the VPN. And safe pay is where you can pay safely over the internet. So this is basically the quick actions you can do from this page just here from the dashboard. Next we have got the detection. Now from here we've basically got all the same things that I did mention previously. But we have got some more options in here as well. Like we've got the advanced threat uh, defense here. We've also got crypto mining protection. We've got the online threats as well. We've also got firewall. You've got a bunch of stuff in here. We've got anti spam as well down here. Now, if you want to turn these on, you can do by just selecting these little buttons here, or you can turn them off. So we could turn off one of these if we want to. But I'm going to leave these on. I'm actually going to leave it as is. I think this is quite good already, the settings. Now we've got the privacy. So we click into here. Now, I've already gone over a few of these options already, like safe pay. Uh, the VPN. We also got the anti tracker down here as well. That is already selected on by default. We also got video and audio protection here as well, personal controls, and we also got secure pass here as well. Basically, you can get this for free. You can try it for free if you want to. This is basically where it saves all your passwords to an app and it makes it easier for you to log in to other platforms and also makes it harder for hackers to actually get your passwords and stuff like that. So, if you want to use that, you can do. You can click on learn more just here to get that. Now we've got utilities down here, so click into here. And in here, basically it's all the same stuff from these other options we've just gone through here. Like anti-theft, one-click optimization. So if you want to do that like optimization on your computer, you can set this up from in here. Also we've got profiles as well, so we can do that in here by clicking settings. And we've also got data protection down here as well. We've also got the notifications down here, so we can see all the scans and everything that happens on our computer, like my network and all that is all being connected. We've also got a few more options up here as well. So we've got nothing in this one. We've also got the warnings as well. That you basically my OBS is basically running. This is how I'm recording this video. We've also got information up here as well. Basically the same thing as in all. And we've also got settings as well down here at the bottom. So settings is down here. And inside of here we could do quite a lot of things. Like we can do password protection. So you can restrict access to Bitdefender settings. If you want to select this, this is up to you. I wouldn't even bother selecting that. Uh, but you can do that if you want to. We've also got special offers as well. So you can turn this off. Um, yeah, I wouldn't have this on because it's kind of annoying because you usually get like a pop-up in the corner of your screen if they got any special offers. We've also got the notifications down here. I would probably keep this one on. So if you get a virus on your computer, Bitdefender will let you know it in the corner of your computer. So I'll probably leave that on. But if you do get annoyed with all the notifications you see in the corner, you can just come into here and turn that off. And down at the bottom here, we've also got the dark mode. If you want to select that, it just changed it to the dark mode. And it looks quite cool, but I'm actually going to put it back over to the light mode for now. We've also got the advanced as well. Inside of here, we've got the proxy server. Um, if you want to use this, it's up to you. Set this up. We've also got the product reports here as well. So you can uh, turn this off or on. We've also got the updates as well. So if you want to have it update automatically, I recommend keeping this on. And it also, you can make it check every so often. So you can choose when it should check for updates. And we've also got silent update as well. So you can keep this on. This basically just updates it in the background off your computer so you can do that as well so i'm going to come back over to the dashboard i'm actually going to click into the quick scan 
And inside of here already, it should automatically scan just like this. So straight away, it's scanning my computer for any viruses. Now, if you want to pause, you can pause just here, or you can stop the scan if you want to. This is up to you. So I'm actually going to stop the scan and click on yes. And now this has stopped and my system is clean. Click on view log if you want to do that. So you can see what it's basically cleaned out and all the reports and all that. And um, yeah, you've got a bunch of stuff in here like the basic. So the scans, so you can see basically where stuff's been scanned from. So you can do that as well. And we also got my account up here. And basically in here, we can basically just see our name and our email address and also the computer that it's connected to, which most of this is going to be blurred because I don't want, really want to show this stuff. Uh, but you've got that in here as well. You can also see down here the um, when our trial expires. So you can also buy now. Or if you have an activation key, you can add it into here from this button just here. And if you need any further help, you can click up here as well in the corner. And here, basically, there's some more guides and stuff if you need help. So that is how you do that from up in the corner just there. So Bitdefender is available as well for Mac, iOS, and Android. Also for the Windows as well. I'm using this on Windows 11. And also we do have a VPN as well down here. This automatically downloads when you download Bitdefender. We can also access our VPN as well from directly inside of Bitdefender. You can click into here. And now this will load up a different page, just like this one. And inside of here, we've actually got Bitdefender for free. Now, as you can see, I've only got seven days left up here. It is a bit of a smaller trial, but you can give this a go. And you can connect anywhere in the country as well by clicking connect. So as you can see, it's automatically connecting me to the United Kingdom. And now I am protected online. So this is basically how you use the um, VPN as well from in Bitdefender. Also, you can see my IPs down here. Again, it's going to be blurred because I don't really want to show that. But you can turn off the VPN as well by clicking the little button just down here again. And you can switch that off. Very simple to do, but that is how you do that from in the uh, VPN panel. We've also got settings up in the corner here as well. Now you can do a bunch of stuff inside of here. I'm not going to go through all this because this is basically pretty simple. But you can go through this as well if you want to do that. So that is all the options inside of Bitdefender. Again, if you don't know how to download and install Bitdefender, be sure to check out the video on the screen right now. And if you've enjoyed this video, be sure to leave a like, hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you all in my next video.